Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to watch a video of Broadway diva, Disney legend, Miss Lea Salonga, and the country's concert king, Mr. Martin Devera, performing a duet entitled The Prayer. This was originally sang by one of the most iconic singers in the entire world, Miss Celine Dion, and world-renowned tenor, Mr. Andrea Bocelli. Before anything else, I'm inviting everyone to please follow me on Instagram at Max underscore two. Likewise, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos to get a chance to win prizes. For more details, please check out the link above. Time for some shout outs. Hi to Lena Rees. Hope you are doing well. Please stay safe. Hello to Jerome Juniora. Thank you for watching my videos and for dropping your comments. Much appreciated. Hi to Ira Mapa Dakumos. We'll try to listen to the song you mentioned soon. And finally, to Music in My Ears. Thank you for your wonderful support. Hope you keep on watching. So if you guys want a shout out in my next video, please tell me down below at the comment section. I first encountered this song in the year 2000, uh, but I believe it was released a year earlier in 1999. Uh, the novelty of this song for me at the time was the fusion of uh, classical singing and pop singing by Andrea Bocelli and Celine Dion respectively. Add to this the fusion of two languages, English and Italian. In my events at the time, this was one of the most requested songs. So I used to sing this a lot. So I hope you guys are ready. By the way, I got this video from uh, the channel of PJ Garcia. So if you want to watch the entire performance without any interruption, without my comments, please head to their channel. Again, PJ Garcia. Also, I want to apologize in advance for um, having to superimpose uh, the effects on the video. I need to do this to avoid the video from being taken down. All right, let's do this. Remember I mentioned earlier the fusion of pop and classical singing in the original version. I'm expecting this to be a bit different, knowing that Lea Salonga would most probably interpret it her own way. And Martin Nivera, of course, is not a classical singer. That said, we will not be comparing this version to the original version. So we are going to take this as it is. And help us to be wise. What a nice way to start In the song. Times when we don't know. Let this be our prayer. Leia's voice is so pure and clean. Her perfect pitch is enviable. Her diction is always crystal clear. So it's really a pleasure listening to her. I remember uh, working with her uh, in an event before and the sound system sucked really bad, as in it's really, really bad. But when she sang, she still sounded like a goddess. So it doesn't matter if she has a good or bad sound system, she always sounds good. Where 
Did you guys hear that wonderful crescendo she gave us at the end? To a place where we'll be safe. A very, very nice touch, if you ask me. Let's move on. I'm a huge fan of Lea Salonga and of Martin Nivera. These are the people who have influenced my way of singing. But for this first part, I'm not too happy with the way he sang it. I felt like he needed to have a little more support uh, in those low notes. La luce che tu dai nel cuore resterà. I'm thinking the pitch of this version might be a little bit too low for him. I obviously don't speak Italian, but to my viewers out there who do speak Italian, feel free to comment down below if his diction is acceptable. Um, because the way I hear it from him is not quite the same as the way Andrea Bocelli sang it. Also, the way he sang, lead us to a place. If it was me, I would have emphasized uh, the vowels more in the word place. Lead us to a place as opposed to lead us to a place. Hear the difference? One is more open, one is more closed. Let's move on. Give us faith so we'll be safe. They sound good together. Leia giving us another flawless rendition. Same with Martin's part as he gets more comfortable in those uh, mid notes leading to the higher notes. I'm not sure how they recorded this, but I think it is very hard for them to be in sync with each other since they are not physically together. So there is no eye contact, no non-verbal cues like what we do when we perform on stage with another person, non-verbal signals like a nod or the body language or whatsoever. So it's kind of hard for them to sing in sync. I know that I said earlier that we will not be comparing this to the original version. But I think I've just gotten so used to uh, the classical Andrea Bocelli version that I now find it kind of hard to uh, accept the way Martin is delivering his parts, uh, which is more pop. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. But from an objective point of view, he is doing very, very well. His notes are very precise. And of course, he is sounding way better in those mid notes 
and higher notes. Leia, on the other hand, sounds bright and open, and the way she sustained that last note is just perfection. Let's move on. Again, a slight challenge here, singing in sync. But if this is a, a 100% live performance, meaning both of them are singing real time, I cannot ask for anything more. Considering the fact uh, that they're doing this in two separate locations, as you can see, certainly not easy. It's way complicated than it seems. I really think this version is a bit too low for both of them. Again, I am a fan of both Leia and Martin, so I'm kind of familiar with what they can do vocally. And if they made this song just at least one semitone higher, it would have sounded even better. Just my opinion. Let's continue. Give us faith so we'll be safe. Very nice intensity from both of them. The way they released that last note is just perfect. Perfect. That ending is also very, very, very nice. The way they sustained the last syllable is impressive. Leia's head voice is divine, sounds again very, very bright. And for Martin to be able to sustain that note also in one breath using his falsetto shows us that his breath control is amazing. Overall, I like their version, but I just hope uh, the Concert King sang his verses with more open vowels to match the clarity of Leia's uh, diction. And as I've said earlier, in my opinion, if they sang this in a higher key, it would have sounded even more divine. In the Charlotte Church and Josh Groban version of the same song, Charlotte didn't belt her parts. Instead, she used her head voice all throughout. And since Leia sounds perfect, whether she uses her chest voice, mixed voice, or head voice, she could have easily used any of these techniques to sing the higher key. Martin, on the other hand, sounded better when he started going up uh, his range, the higher notes. And I'm sure he can hit those notes even if the song was in a higher key. So my question to you is, how much do you like this version from a scale of 1 to 10? 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest. Comment down below. But please remember to keep all your comments respectful. Again, we can always choose to agree or disagree with each other without being disrespectful. With that, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max 2.
stay safe, happy, and healthy, everyone. Take care.